Oh yeah, this is happening. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here. How you doing today? We're starting a new account. I'm not going to think too hard about it. Let's just choose Kale. That's what I would tell everybody to do. So let's just do it, okay? I'm going to explain everything in a minute. Let me go get through the tutorial and I'll be right back. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, you don't get the same stuff as what on your other account. Um, this is going to be the starter gear. Honestly, I guess that makes sense. So we'll go ahead and collect the boots here. Am I out of the tutorial now? Yes, I am. Okay, sweet. Um, let me go ahead and take care of a few things. Um, and then I will tell you what's going on. Okay, there we go. I was like, wait, why, why isn't it let me collect the stuff? Holy crap. The call of the Arbiter is still in the game. What a perfect time to start a new account. I'm going to go pull up my website and put all the promo codes in. And then I am going to collect all of the rewards from, like, sharing the game and stuff. Yes, I am. That's amazing. And then I can go watch these. And then I can get all of the rewards. Heck yes. Um, what about the, what about the actual promo codes? Is there no spot for the actual promo codes? Oh, so it's just sharing the episodes? I mean, that's fine, too. I'm totally cool with that. All right, so we have the daily mini pack, and then let's go look and see all of the stuff that we just got. Oh, went straight to our, straight to our inventory. It did not go to the inbox. Interesting. So that gave us silver gems, um, a bunch of energy to start the game with. That seems like a great boost for a new starting account. Hey, Polarium, I thought we were going to fix this with the Fragment Champions. Um, oh, wait, are these just Doom Tower Champions? And we removed all of the rest of them. Okay, I mean, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. So let me let me tell you what's going on here. So, yes, I'm starting a new account. No, I don't think I'm quitting the other accounts. Um, I had a very epiphany type of moment. Bro, just ban all these people every time. Okay, don't follow those links. I had an epiphany type of moment where I wondered how early we could get to gold five and so i'm just gonna test that um this week i'm going to be messing around on this account i would love to get um monkey king on a new account and level him up and see what we can do uh with him as basically the starter champion okay i have had a lot of questions about should we level him up as our first champion what would that look like i've had a lot of new people saying that they're new to the game and so if that's you make sure you subscribe to the channel tell me your questions in the comments below and we're gonna get started on this okay i am pretty pumped about it Hopefully you will be too, and I'm going to level up Monkey King as my first six star. We'll see how far I get on the account, but at least for this week, I'm going to mess around on it, okay? And I want to see what we can do, how far we can progress with Monkey King. I guess I won't get him until Friday, but I'm basically going to just, you know, do campaign, all of the things... And then um, in the next couple days, what I will do is I'll make uh, a couple videos focusing on what the new player experience is like with Monkey King. So let's go get started here. We'll do a couple things and I'll tell you what it is I'm doing. We're going to start by fighting through the campaign. Um, this is should be pretty easy. 
I recommend not doing anything, you know, right off the get-go. What you want to do first is you want to put gear on your starter champion. And uh, all of this should come in here. Uh, remove, destroy, confirm, and then equip that. Um, you just have to slog through all of this to level 8. Um, there's not really a better way since we don't have the instant upgrade. I don't know why that is, but uh, anyway, we'll upgrade the gear and then do some fights. And I'll be, I'll be back and then we'll see how far we can get. One thing I think that not a lot of people know is that you can upgrade your gear to level 12 um, or higher. Uh, I just don't recommend it. Uh, level 12 is, is the highest you want to go at first. The other pieces I don't recommend. But the starter lifesteal set is very good. And you should hold on to that for quite some time. Uh, the other thing is once we can level somebody up, um we should definitely do that the tavern button doesn't get there till level six uh but definitely that is uh, a good thing is, is putting some levels into your starter champion as soon as possible so we will definitely be doing that uh just put kale in here and start three starring some stuff now while this is running anybody who wants to play along with a new account um, we're going to see if the referrals worked and if that, um, you know, if it's that easy to just link referral accounts, I don't think so. Back when we started the uh, free to play account at the beginning of this year, it was a giant pain in the butt. And I remember I enlisted silent to help me get the account linked because it was very difficult. I expect it to be basically the same. However, if you want to play along, uh, I will be doing a gem giveaway for any new player uh, who has started the game, uh, you know, in the last recent, I guess we'll say in the last month. So if you started anytime in September, that includes starting a new account now, um, you can get some gems uh, as a possible win all right we can do a little giveaway and uh get you guys some gems for this okay so i'm just gonna put all all of them in here and then i guess what we'll do is try to level up some food i probably shouldn't have put quite that many in there because he will get some levels on his own but you know we're gonna just skyrocket kale here as quickly as possible i want to say we get chickens early on but I'm not 100% sure. And then the question will be, do we use Kale as a chicken? That will be interesting. Uh, I might, but I might not. So um, let me know if you are a new player and if this type of a series would be helpful for you. I'm not going to play this like super long term or anything. But I have been curious about the opening of the game with Monkey King. And being that I have somebody running the account for me, the free-to-play account, I do have a little bit more time. Um, and the beginning of the game is, is pretty enjoyable, in my opinion. It's a little bit of a grind, don't get me wrong, but it's still pretty enjoyable. So, we'll go ahead and do the first gem giveaway in the comment section of this video. Let me know what you think about this series. Let me know what you think about um, the starting gear. No, just kidding. Uh, let me know what you think about Monkey King in the game as a starter champion like this. And then we'll go from there. All right. So uh, I'm sure that I'll do a couple more things and ramble a little bit more here before we end the video for today. Uh, but I will try to maybe put a, like a little monkey king logo or something um <laughs> in the thumbnails i don't know something and then that way uh you'll know uh what's going on so i need to throw some gear on war priest and start leveling her up as well all right so along with your um player id in the comment section put in there any type of new player uh tips and tricks that you wish you knew 
when you were starting the game, and then in the next video, I'll take a look at that. So we'll just do, in all of the videos in this series, we'll just do gem giveaways in the comments. That will encourage you guys to get involved with the series, as well as hooking you up in the process. Now, there was a fusion announcement today. I'm sure that that's important. He's weird. Um, but I don't want, I don't know what time the embargo was for, so I don't want to get into that. Um, but make sure you check that out and make the decisions about whether you want to do that fusion or not. If you're a new player, I would suggest holding off, but it is definitely possible to do a fusion as a new player. Um, just based on my experiences, <laughs> I did on the free to play, I did the. Ooh, what fusion did I do right away? I did Pythion. I did the Pythion fusion after playing for like a week. Like something like that. It was very, very quick. Um, and then I had to skip a fusion or two and then I did another one. So it's definitely possible. Uh, if you want that information, I I would click over to the free-to-play playlist and check that out. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention is that if you want some information on War Priest, she, uh, I have a full video on her, and that's like, um, you know, probably the only guide on the internet for War Priest. Uh, she's the secret word. And if you want um, information on that full guide, I will uh, try to link that in the comments below. But you just go into the videos on the on my channel and go to most popular in the sort feature uh, because it is one of the highest performing videos of mine of all time. So make sure you go check that out. It's super, super fun. And as for me... I am going to make some life gear, I think, depending on what we have. Defense percent boots. The boots I have are actually speed boots on both. Uh, HP percent gloves. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, and then tomorrow's video, I think what we're going to do, I may have said this already, is all of the new player um, tips and tricks that I can think of, we're going to put them all in one video. So all of your comments today will help in creating that. I have a bunch of things, obviously, that I know already that I want to include, but uh, I want to hear from you guys as well. Somebody just got their Sun Wukong. I won't get mine until Friday, but that's okay. Basically, the only thing we're going to be doing in the next couple days is fighting through the campaign, leveling up our kale a bit, um, possibly making some chickens. Uh, I think, you know, it's very important to do all of the like little basic things at the beginning of the game. And we're going to talk about all that as we skyrocket leveling up here, which is great. All right. Both of my champions are fully geared. We got... Uh, some stuff all up to level 8 on both champions, not too bad, and then we can just continue our fights. You know what, I just wondered if those promo codes are still working. What is this almighty shard pack? We're definitely not buying that, but... This might be, like, the best... I don't know, that, that definitely puts them under $8. I'm going to have to look into that. Uh, let's talk about that in my Discord. Uh, okay, so we did some things. Um, yes, we did. Okay, we're making progress. Now we need to give a bruise. Okay, make sure that you are following along. Make sure you're following along. And we have that barrel from the uh, one quest, linking your account or whatever. That's nice. We'll summon some champions. We'll do some challenges. All the things, right? All of the things. The new player uh, tournament is great. If you can win the speed gear, highly recommend that. Getting to the thousand points. Hold off on claiming your energy refills um, because the more you level up, the more energy it will be. So just don't don't claim it initially. Um, okay, this and this. I guess we will, I guess we'll pull some mystery shards here. See if we get any crazy rares. Probably it'll just be commons and uncommons. We summoned a force champion, watch out. Okay, 
Mostly this will just be food, I suppose. And then fighting through campaign plus doing a bunch of other things, you should be able to get yourself some more mystery shards. But in general, try to be saving those and using these champions to level up other champions. All right. Okay, nobody super impactful. But we did summon the champions. There we go. Classic Arena. Oh boy. That's the whole point. That is the whole point of this account. See how quickly we can get to gold five. All right, so let's try our good old promo code superpowers. There's our deacon. It still works. All right, let's go. And the rest of this stuff is great too. I'm not sure why you get the bruise that you get, um, but we'll put these two into him and then we will start leveling him up. We'll put gear on him. He's really, really great to help with your campaign stuff, obviously. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe not, obviously. But he will go in here with Kale. That'll help us fight these stages a lot quicker. So I need to put some gear on him. All right, so we'll steal some of the gear we literally just leveled up. And then we'll level up some other things. All right, so we hit level 13. I think that'll do it for the video here today. Um, put your comments down there and make sure you check out yesterday's video. One of the most important videos I've made in quite some time. And there's a sweet advertisement for another new game that I think you guys would like. So go check that out and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Thank you so much for watching.